Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, welcome back. Um, I wanted to talk some more about the, the things that I think were the, uh, the very, very most important parts of jiu-jitsu, the most important elements uh, that you should, in my opinion, learn from jiu-jitsu and need to have intact in your understanding in order to be able to learn jiu-jitsu. So, uh, anyway, just to clarify a couple things, the first one, you know, was, uh, the first lesson was, uh, you know, understanding that fear uh, some people call it ego, but really it's fear, uh, is your worst and only real enemy. That's the thing that you've really got to fight. It's not somebody else. It's not weakness. It's just fear. Fear is a monster. It's the worst ever. And uh, I think the, the, the most common manifestation that fear has in, uh, in martial artists or just people in general is panic. And panic creates uh, all kinds of problems. It creates a mob mentality, makes people turn on each other, do crazy things. Uh, all of which are out of the second lesson, uh, their center. The center was that place where you feel good, where you're most efficient, you're most effective, you're most powerful. Uh, <clears throat> I've, had to, I've talked to some people, and, and it's, it, it has nothing to do with the comfort zone. It has nothing to do with not moving off dead center uh, or something like that. Your center is a, uh, a, a, a very unpopular concept in our culture. Uh, people think you have to be uncomfortable, uh, look upset or tense or stressed out in order to be doing any good. You're not really working unless you're out of breath, panting, freaked out, you know, uh, worried or tense in some way. And that's absolutely not true. <clears throat> Whenever something is done properly, optimally, it is the easiest, most comfortable way to do it. Uh, so uh, when you're lifting a weight, uh, the way that feels the best is the best. Uh, if you feel a tearing somewhere <laughs> in your body, it's not a good way to do it. It's, it's retarded. So being really sensitive to that is, is hard to do when you're talking about internal things. Externally, it's, it's easy to, you know, paint metaphors and tell you, hey, you know, if you're picking up something wrong, it's going to hurt your back, you do it right, it won't. But uh, inside, you have a whole system of, uh, uh, I guess, uh, sensitivities and so forth that are telling you, hey, man, you're in the right zone or you're in the wrong zone. This is good, not good. And you need to trust yourself because we have a culture and a lot of people and a lot of insanity, even in our own heads, that are telling you, don't trust yourself, don't listen to it. This is super important because if you get those first two things down, understand who your enemy is and know who you are, your center, what feels great, then you're able to start to uh, experience uh, what I, you know, the third lesson, and that's gentle power. You're able to find out uh, how to do things, uh, you know, the most effective, the most efficient, and ultimately the most powerful way possible um, it is uh, it's a strange thing uh, actually when, when I lift weights or work out or something I, I make sure that I'm not straining myself I, I don't try to strain even if I'm trying to go for a, uh, a, a maximum conditioning set or a lift or whatever in other words what I'm trying to say is that you have to <laughs> you have to you have to feel the way you want to feel when you, uh, you finally accomplish whatever you're, you're, you're going to accomplish ahead of time. I ask people all the time, uh, you know, they, they say, I'm going to master jiu-jitsu, I'm going to be awesome. And I ask them, you know, what, what would that feel like? What would that feel like to be a jiu-jitsu master? And they always say, um, you know, I don't know, I'd uh, kick ass, uh, I'd slap people around. And uh, uh, then they think about it for a little while longer, and then they realize, shit, I don't know what the hell it would feel like. <laughs> I have no clue what it would feel like. And I, and I, so I ask him, well, how about this? Would, would, would everything be easy? Would it be easy to do what you did? And they said, oh yeah, it'd definitely be easy. It'd be, it'd be smooth. You know, I'd be kicking people. No, 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 wait a minute. Would it be easy? Would it feel good? <clears throat> and whatever other crazy superfluous ideas they have about being a badass, understanding, mastering martial arts or anything, they all agree on one thing. Uh, it would be easy and it would feel good. So gentle power, has to come from a place where things are going easily and they feel good. And if you concentrate on that sensation, on that feeling, you will find the best and most powerful way to train. Gentle power is uh, the, the art of experiencing um, really incredibly difficult things getting done without effort or complexity that's what you want to try to experience. It's a difficult thing to describe because it's so counterintuitive to our culture. We, you go to the gym, you're straining, you think you're doing a lot of work. See if you can lift that same weight without straining. See if you can have a match without working hard. Agree to use a certain percentage of your strength uh, and no more. And just tap if something doesn't work out. 
the worst thing you can do is get in trouble and, and kick it up a notch and, and start acting, uh, you, you know, uh, tense and hard again. Then you're just, all, all, you're, all you're doing is just reinforcing bad habits. And when you get in real trouble or, or, or faced with difficulty, you know that what you really believe is going to save you is your tension, you know, and your fear. So what you have to do is try to practice gentle power. Super intense resistance, super intense growth, whatever like that relaxed, staying in your center, feeling good. And so uh, that's how you apply it. I'll show you how to do that on the mat here in a little while and with some uh, some weightlifting stuff that I do and, and other conditioning crap. So uh, anyway, I hope that makes sense and I hope that helps. But uh, it's incredibly important and um, I think it'll make a difference if you give it a shot. Anyway, thanks for listening, you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.